Hello again, my friends. I've got a fun little video for you today that's going to show you a few simple little things that you can make in StreamerBot that can completely transform how you do your stream. And with this, I'm talking about making channel points specifically for your subscribers, making your own blacklists of words, and even a one-stop Hey, I started up StreamerBot, open all these things up. It's gonna be amazing. So let's get into this. So the first thing I wanna start off with is the channel points specifically for my subscribers. For me, I like to be able to give my subscribers a little bit extra, kind of a thank you. It's just a way for me to show my appreciation. So in StreamerBot, I have where I have this thing called subscriber checked, and you can see there's two, there's only two actions in it. Well, first off, I have the checked for subscriber. And this is very easy to do for Twitch. It's not really hard. All you have to do is do a add target info from redeem. So you would go down to Twitch, down to user, and get user info for target. This is all you need. Then the next thing is an if else statement. So in core, down to logic, do if else. In here, you're gonna need to type this, the variable is subscribed equals false. And what this is basically saying is if the person is not subscribed, then we're going to go ahead and do the next action. And as you can see, is subscribed equals false. And it does what I call the refund channel point and then it will break. Otherwise it won't do anything and it'll keep going and doing what's next in the line. So with an if else statement in StreamerBot, you can do a, if it equals this, you can hit break and it will stop and then nothing else will happen. But you also have the option to, if it is this one thing, if, it, if this is true or false, then I want you to do another action and basically divert whatever to the other action. Now on the refund channel point, what I make sure is a redemption cancel happens. So you would go to Twitch, go to rewards, and then you would do update redemption status. So you have the option here to either cancel or fulfill. Now canceling is exactly as it says, it will cancel it and refund the points. The fulfill is basically saying it automatically completes and you are not able to refund that person if needs be. Now this is handy if you're wanting to just make sure everything is strictly controlled or just don't add this stuff so that way, you know, you can manage it on your own through your Twitch dashboard. Me, for this, I wanna just go ahead and automatically refund the channel points because if you're not subscribed, I don't wanna punish you for not being subscribed. I wanna give those points back just that way you're not wasting your own points. And then the next thing I add is a Twitch message. And this is coming from my bot and it's just basically saying, hey, you're not authorized to use this. You have to be subscribed in order to redeem. And that's where the next part of this is going to have to come in for you. So one of the things you're going to do when you set up these channel points is you're going to need to go to your channel, your Twitch dashboard. And one of the things that I do is I make sure I have something that displays that this is supposed to be for subscribers. Now for me, I have my little logo that I made for the Elite Nerdcast, which is what I call the group that subscribes to my Twitch page. But this I use as the identifier as this is a sub only. Having something to identify that this is a sub only channel point will at least help those who are not subscribed understand that this is for subs only. Now I'm probably gonna change mine to be a little bit clearer, but as long as you have some kind of imagery that says like subs only, it'll make more sense. Now with these two actions, all you need to do then is create something and then you need to add it before. So let me just go ahead and we're gonna use my Homelander hates me example. And in here, I have where, you know, the reward redemption here, I've made sure that I put for myself, this is a subs only redemption. I've also categorized this as something different from all my other channel point redeems. But if you look, the first thing that happens is I run an action for check subscriber, which is what we set up here. So what it's gonna do first off, is, hey, who redeemed it? And then are they subscribed? If they are not subscribed, then it's gonna do refund the channel point. If they are subscribed, well, then it's just gonna go ahead and go through the list to make the channel point redeem happen. And the great part about this is you can add this to anything you want. So anything you create or anything you made special, you can just make it a subscriber only channel point this way. And as you can see, I've created a few different things for them and then for my regular redeems i'll have them listed out like in here so that way it's easy to keep them separated so that way i have where this is just regular channel points and then i also have subscriber and i called it command originally but now it's channel points now the next thing i want to mention is actually for me i'm an adult streamer for the most part i i gear most of my streams towards adults so i'm okay with 
foul, you know, some foul language and everything, but I don't want anything offensive, anything that's going to break Twitch terms of service. One of the things I get upset about with Twitch is the fact that sometimes it's going to pick up a word that is completely fine by my standards. If somebody wants to use the word ass, I'm like, it, it, it's an ass, whatever. You could be talking donkey, you could be talking my rear end. I don't care. But I don't need Twitch to constantly just tie, you know, oh, well, we're with gonna withhold this comment, withhold this comment, withhold this comment. I don't need that. So what I decided to do was make my own moderation, my own way of doing blacklisted words. So in here I have mod stop. And for mod stop, what you're gonna see is I've got the Twitch who redeemed it. I'm gonna time out that person. And then I'm gonna send a message saying, hey, you vented an offensive word. Don't use derogatory terms. You know, this person has been timed out for five minutes. Final warning before you are banned. I'm one that I like to give people a chance to correct their actions before I just go ahead and get them out the door. Unless you're promoting something that nobody wants. Graphic artists, promotion services. So I have this and that's what's set up. Now to trigger it. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm, I'm replacing the, the bad words with, with, with uh, these words. Yeah, you get the idea. So if this were bad words, like puppy is a bad word, and kitten is a bad word, nutty is a bad word, Andy Lippy is a bad word. Anyway, you see where I'm going with this. Each individual word I'm putting in here is essentially a command that gets picked up. Then what I do is I do anywhere. So if this if one of these words it comes up anywhere within the message, it's going to go ahead and trigger the mod stop. So one of the cautionary things I have to put out with anywhere is the fact that sometimes when you put anywhere, it'll take that combination of letters. And if it appears within another word, it may go ahead and trigger. This is the reason why I do a timeout and not a ban. It's not exactly perfect, but it also allows me a little bit more control and allowing some words to just go completely past without constantly having to refix it in Twitch, which I've had to do and it drives me nuts. Now, additionally, once you have compiled your list of words, even if you don't want to use it that way, where you still want to use the Twitch bot to control the chat. Still, this list of words and using some sort of moderation with this, you can create a banned words list for certain channel point redeems. So here I have created one and it's within my Twitch talk redeemed. And yes, I actually made this off of Nutty. Like Nutty inspired me to make it and I made it without really coding. I have to say really coding. Anyway, I'm sidetracking. But when I have this make a Twitch talk, I get it here where, you know, add the info redeem, blah, 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 blah. And then it's gonna come to this one that's called action banned words. And then the banned words is an action on its own and contains a lot of bad words. But what it is, is essentially taking whatever the raw input of the message is. And if it contains this one thing, just go ahead and stop immediately don't even run the channel point don't do anything so basically what would happen then is if somebody had included in a channel point redeem and it somehow got passed any kind of other moderation what this acts then is as a backup to make sure certain words aren't going to appear on the screen so for my twitch talk redeem i make sure that anything that's written doesn't get said by the ai voice and isn't being displayed for everyone to see if it detects one of those bad words it automatically cancels that redeem, but I don't refund the channel points for that. I'm sorry, if you're gonna be a troll enough to do that, then yeah, you deserve to lose your points. That's my opinion. But this is a way that you can add that layer of extra protection with streamer bot and yeah the banned words it's it's a little lengthy and takes time to set up it is useful to have it's always good to protect yourself okay and the final one i've got for you on this one this is basically just a simple way to make sure that you get everything up and running right from the get-go this is what i call my startups i want all these programs to start when I open StreamerBot. So one of the things, because I use SpeakerBot, I make sure that that opens. I also make sure my voice mod is open and running. And then I, I used to use Lumia Stream, but I don't anymore. So that's actually disabled, but I left it in here in case I ever need to use it again. Now, adding something to a list like this is actually not as difficult as you would think it is. It's just one that you'd need to know where your programs are located. So in here, you would go to core, you would go down to system, and you would go to run a program. Now the command, if we can just go ahead and click this to open. Now let's go ahead and find my OBS. So I would go here to my E drive where I know it's stored. And then I go to my OBS folders, go to bin, four bit, and here it is, OBS64.exe. So here you can see it has added the exe. 
and it's added the working directory. And then that's really all you need to add for this to work. And so you just come down and you hit okay. And so anytime I open StreamerBot, it's going to come on. To make sure the trigger is going to happen, you would just right click, go to core, and StreamerBot started. It's right here on the top. So this way, anytime StreamerBot starts, anything that you put in there will load. I actually have been setting this up slowly to incorporate a lot of the different things I use, as well as making sure that my initial scenes are set up. So making sure that my starting soon screen is gonna be the first one up, as well as anything that needs to run right out the gate. Now, I have more stuff coming. I have more advanced things coming. So make sure you're subscribed so that way you can see all the fantastic things that I'm going to keep bringing to you, all these wonderful things you can create yourself. In fact, I recently just figured out how to add QR codes to my shout outs, which I'm super excited to actually completely implement. That's, sorry, it, it, it's exciting for me. But even if you wanna see something like that, leave me a comment, let me know. But with that, I will see you guys on the next video and I hope you all have a wonderful time really diving into creating some amazing stuff. And Remember, don't don't be afraid to make mistakes. Mistakes are awesome. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.